All right, English One Honors, this is your video lecture for JFK's Race to Space speech, the common lit due on April 23rd. Um, so we're going to get right over here to it. All right, I'm going to, there we go. Um, so JFK's Race to Space speech, uh, basically what you need to know, what you need to see here um, is that this is a speech. So um, JFK is obviously your speaker and all we have here is just a transcribed version of his particular speech. Now, at the time, what President Kennedy um, was focusing on in this conversation is the advancement of technology, um, especially here in America, what we're capable of, what we should be doing because of what we are capable of, and what benefits all of this would pose to us. Um, so when you're looking at your notes, you have your thieves um, breakdown I've already completed for you all. The title of the speech, the race to space, that kind of rhyme, catchy slogan, um, how it engages the audience. You should have, um, there are no headings. The introduction, um, Kennedy is sure to greet all of the people in attendance at his speech. Um, you can see the visual of him at the podium. I'm sorry guys, if you can hear Jack barking in the background, he's not a happy camper today. Um, so you have JFK at his podium, um, giving his race to space speech here. And when you get to the end of passage questions, they're gonna ask you a lot about main idea, historical context, cause and effect, and there's even a question about vocab, so use your context clues in responding. And then you have your short answer questions. As for short answer question number six, um, what is the relationship between space, peace, and war? Cite evidence from the text in your answer. Um, you're gonna look at the notion of space as neutral um, and thus a sort of hopeful empty stage, um, but also that it has the potential to be a place of peace or conflict. Um, and so you're gonna wanna quote how Kennedy says, people should establish or humans should establish themselves in space in order to achieve certain goals. And then question number seven, ask you, according to JFK, what does the space race represent to the American public? Students should mention the United States desire to be first, the space race, the hope for the new frontier, um, and President Kennedy's rhetoric, which inspired this hope. So how President Kennedy conducted himself during this speech, the things that he said, his mannerisms, um, and his word choice in conveying his message to his audience. I wanna go back up to your literary terms because when we look at a speech, I want you guys to consider these three of your literary terms, logos, ethos, and pathos. Um, how is the credibility of Kennedy established in his speech? Well, he is the president of the United States. And then you also have pathos, the appeal to emotion. What kind of words does Kennedy use to create an emotional response in his readers? And then the appeal to logic, what facts, what data, what evidence, what numbers and statistics does he use to support his speech in this case here. Um, and that I believe is going to be all for my honor students on the race to space speech. Um, make sure you're keeping up with this guys. And we'll move right along next week.